Hi guys, happy Thursday. Um, I am really excited. I'm doing my Thursday Latelys today and I'm home. Hallelujah. I'm so excited to be home. Um, we were scheduled to be back this Saturday and we ended up coming home a week early because we just got really homesick. I missed my dog. Uh, I missed all of my friends. I miss seeing my family and just people I know. Um, so I'm really excited to be home. We, I don't know um, how much you know, but my husband and I went on, it was about, it was almost four weeks. We were gone almost four weeks. Um, we went to Florida and we kind of just went for a little retreat um, for ourselves. And it was just so helpful in so many ways. We kind of like um, worked on our marriage, worked on like our life goals and things that we wanted, that that we want in our lives and working on a plan to make them happen. And it just was like really, really good in so many ways. Um, we feel really privileged to even have the opportunity to do something like that. I mean, we're self-employed, so it's kind of like we shut off work. We got someone else to take care of what we needed to take care of. And we just kind of focused on improving ourselves. I mean, huge opportunity for us, and I'm really glad we took it, and we made the most of it. So that's what that's my first thing that I'm thankful for, really, that and then being home. Um, yeah, it's just, it's it's been a good month. So that's kind of why I haven't been around as much as you've probably noticed, but I hope you enjoyed all the guest posts. I feel like we I had some really good ones um, lined up for you guys. So, um, and I think they're still rolling too a little bit. So anyway, um, let me think. So, telling you the things that I'm thankful for. That's what this is for, right? So um, I'm thankful to be home, and I'm thankful that we got an awesome trip and that we utilized it, and a lot got accomplished from it. Okay, while I was gone, my Net, my new nephew was born. It's my brother's son, and his name is Wyatt, and he is amazing. <laughs> I don't know if, I, I mean, I don't have any children myself, so I know it's going to be totally different when I experience that, but there has been almost no greater joy other than being married to Bob as becoming an aunt. I just, I, I mean, I just, I'm over the moon for my nieces and my niece and nephews. I have one niece and the rest nephews. So four nephews, one niece. And I just, I don't know. It's just been so cool. So I, that was really another big part of why I was sad that I was gone is because I missed him being born. But I've been to see him twice and I got to snuggle him and stuff. I've got pictures, so I'll probably post them. But he's, you know, wonderful, adorable and everything else. So that's it, Wyatt. His name is Wyatt James, and James is my dad's name, so that's that's pretty cool. Pretty excited about that. Okay, so those are a couple things that I don't have to show you, and I do have two things. They're both food. <laughs> two things that I want to tell you about. Um, okay, let's see here. All right, we'll go with this one first. So um, Bex talked about this a while ago. And I usually, I mean, I pretty much listen to what Bex tells me to do <laughs> because I think she, uh, I don't know, I just like her ideas. And so I, she talked about this product a while ago and I was thinking about it, but I was kind of like, no, I don't really like that. Let me just tell you what it is and then I'll tell you more. Okay, vanilla coconut milk. This one actually is not organic. I thought it was, but no big deal. But I don't know if you know that coconut oil is really good for you. You can use it as a lotion. You can use it in your cooking your food. I mean, it's pretty all-purpose. So, um, and I know it's really good for you. So I've been trying to do it, but I just, I don't know. I used it as a lotion, and I kind of had a personal problem with it. So I might try it again, though, because I, I, I think it's worth it to give it another chance. But... And I, I didn't know how to eat coconut oil, really. It's like, what do you do with it? But I tried this, and I 
can't believe how much I like it. I don't even like coconut. That's what the strange thing is. When we were in Florida, we bought a coconut. Bob bought a coconut and opened it, and we drank, we like drank the liquid, and I was surprised that it was not so coconutty. Like, you know how when they put coconut like on a cake or whatever, I just don't really like that flavor because it's so strong, and I don't know, it's just not my favorite. So we bought this coconut, we drank it, and I was like, this is really mild. And then we like cut pieces out of it. Again, really mild. It was sort of like the texture of a carrot. <laughs> and then, so I kind of ate it, a little nibbled on it, and I was just surprised at how mild it was. It was really good. This is like that. It's pretty milky. Um, like it's it's kind of thick. Like it kind of sticks to the side of the glass and stuff. I just really like it. If you haven't tried it because you don't, you're not a coconut fan, just give it a chance. Because now, I, like, I don't even really like milk that much. But this, I'll, like, get a glass of it and drink it. And I've been using it for my cereal. So, plus, I've been trying not to do so much dairy because I'm, like, a dairy, I'm the dairy queen. <laughs> I told that to my friend the other day. I didn't realize how funny it was after I said it. Um, so, yeah, I'm, like, the dairy queen. And I just feel like I need to cut back on it a little bit. Because, you know. It's, you know, you should, all things in moderation, right? Okay, so this is one thing, my first thing that I'm really enjoying, my first product. My second product, I got this while we were in Florida, and I kind of really just got obsessed with it. Okay, this is Virgil's Cream Soda. I'm a big cream soda fan anyway. So if you if you like cream soda, this is just a really good one. It comes in like a little four pack and I don't know, it's just good. I've had some that's like too artificial tasting. This is not like that. This has got all natural ingredients, so it's pretty I mean it's not I'm not saying it's good for you, but it's just I don't I kind of have a hard time with in artificial ingredients sometimes. So this one and it's like very vanilla-y and mmm, I love it. So anyway, that's it. Those are the things I'm enjoying. I got, I get, did get to do a little bit of shopping. Oh gosh, I did get to do a little bit of shopping while we were gone. And I'm going to show, I'm going to show you those things. I bought another orange skirt, which after I bought it, I realized I had that one from H&M. And I was like, why did I just buy another one of these? But it's so cute. And I can't wait to show it to you. So I guess that's it. Those are the things I'm enjoying this week. Go watch Bex's video because she's awesome and link up to her a little. She's got a little link party. And I guess that's it. So happy Thursday. Enjoy your enjoy the rest of your day and Friday and your weekend. Have a great weekend and I will talk to you later. Bye.